Good morning. Pastor Sean here on Tuesday, October 20th with your morning prayer. So let us, well, let me make sure I get the right spot here. Yeah, let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. All right. Our text for today is from Matthew 15, verses 1 through 20. Then Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat. He answered them, And why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? For God commanded, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. But you say, If anyone tells his father or his mother what you would have gained from me is given to God, he need not honor his father. So for the sake of your tradition you have made void the word of God. You hypocrites! Well did Isaiah prophesy of you when he said, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is from me, far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching his doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the people to him and said to him, Hear and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles the person, but what comes out of the mouth. This defiles the person. Then the disciples came and said to him, do you, know, uh, do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard the saying? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be rooted up. Let them alone. They are blind guides. And if the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, Explain the parable to us. And he said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth and passes into the stomach is expelled? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile anyone. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Alrighty. So, um, up at top, the, the, the thing that Jesus is, uh, throws back at the Pharisees. Basically, um, you know, they come to him and and they're all upset because they're, he, he doesn't, um, he and his disciples do not honor the tradition of the elders. So they're, they're appealing to the tradition that's been passed down. Of course, Jesus says, why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? So there's a break here. So he's definitely isolating their teaching as something that comes strictly from them. And so the, the, the example that he uses is how the commandment says, honor your father and mother. And God brings that even further by saying, whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. So it's what God says is, is huge. But the Pharisees um, and the elders had this tradition passed down that basically created kind of a loophole for you, where um, it was, in, I, I believe it was to use to um, help bring money into the temple, was that they, they brought up a, a, a vow that you could make that you would be dedicating a certain percentage or a certain amount of your your income, your wealth, whatever, um, to go to the temple, to go to God. And basically, um, this would obligate you to do that over everything else. So even if you had um, needy parents who were you know, desperate and for assistance, you know, and of course you were called to, to assist them. If you had made this vow and then set aside this portion for the temple, you couldn't even use that to take care of your parents. So, um, they p- placed their, their commandment above God's 
and and actually saying that their commandment let you get away with not fulfilling God's commandment. So this is why he, you know, obviously calls them hypocrites. And um, he says, you know, for the sake of your tradition, for the sake of your doctrine, you've made void the word of God. So you've, you've given up the, the word of God and gone to your own doctrine. So in, in general, I mean, good Lord, this, this applies to so many things um, and so many Sheesh, where do we where do we even start? Um, obviously, a big, huge problem that we have is that we are very quick to place our word above God's word. Um, and see, the thing is, see, oftentimes when when people come to me asking, like, well, I've got, you know, I've got two options here, you know, of, of two things I I need to do, and this is one responsibility, and this is another, and I f- I feel like I can only do one. So which which is the God pleasing one? And, um, you know, usually I like to point out that, you know, sometimes we don't have the, and actually more often than not, when we're making a choice, it's not necessarily we're picking the right choice, but we're picking the lesser evil, essentially. Um, and that oftentimes when we have choices, we, we, you know, we're, we're worried about, I, I, I don't want to sin. So pick the, the one that w- won't make me sin. Well, it's like, you know, you're going to sin no matter what. <laughs> So pick the one that either has the the lesser sin or the the thing that, you know, whatever you think is the most loving thing to do, you know, do that and then ask God for forgiveness and he will pour it out abundantly on you. Um, so uh, that's usually when it comes up. Um, and like, so that's ideally that's what we try to do. But too often <laughs> we want to try to play our word against God's and, um, you know, try to try to weasel out of, you know, one commandment so that we can fill our own commandment. So actually just, anyway, sorry, train of thought. Um, wow. This is happening a lot more <laughs> than it used to where it just the thought goes away. So anyway, uh, where, where was I going with that? Um, when we place our, our word over God's, um, uh, I mean, we, we do this all the time. It's, it's usually because we want to do something or what God says, you know, we, we don't want to do, um, this goes in just our little personal decisions, things that uh, happen, come up in life. This comes in major ways in, in whole denominations even where, um, you know, we, we, the, the church body might say, well, this is, this is our tradition. This is what we, this is what we want to do. And, and this is what we think is right. Um, and that supersedes what God says, or, you know, there's a lot, a million different ways that you can, um, see this happening. But the, the important thing is for us to always go to, to God's word, of course, and, um, you know, see what he says. <laughs> and we're not always going to like it. We're not always, you know, like in this situation, the, the Pharisees are not thrilled because they're not getting as much money going flowing into the temple, but you've got to honor God's word. Um, you know, you don't want to love everybody. Don't want to love your enemies, but this is what God says. Um, you know, we, we don't want to think about others first and place their, their priorities above ours, but this is God's word. So we don't want, definitely don't want to be the Pharisees and we want to keep in mind these things and, and kind of be aware of the things that we have kind of established as God's word, um, which isn't God's word, uh, where we have placed our, our word, our feelings, our agenda, whatever above God's. Um, and we do it all the time. (laughs) I mean, certainly when we, when we, um, knowingly sin, you know, we we know what we're doing is wrong and we're like, yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, we're effectively saying, well, but it's okay (laughs) for whatever reason, um, where we become hypocrites. I mean, we are hypocrites. And so this is why it always comes back to asking God for forgiveness, coming back to him saying, Lord have mercy. Um, and knowing that, you know, he forgives, you know, he's like, okay, you're forgiven. Now go and sin no more. <laughs> Listen to my word. Um, do what I say. Don't, don't do what, uh, what you say. 
So that was a little bit meandering today. I apologize about that. My brain kind of left halfway through, but that should be plenty to uh, to chew on if you're uh, going to meditate on this text today. So if you have any questions or thoughts, let me know. Let us pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you've safely brought us the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are, we are bold to pray. <laughs> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Alrighty, well, thank you for joining me today. Uh, again, sorry if it was a little bit all over the map there. <laughs> but I uh, hope it is a blessing to you, and uh, peace be with you.